Question 25. On the first day of November, Gia deposits $10,000 into a new account which earns 0.4% interest per month, compounded monthly. At the end of each month, after the interest is added to the account, Gia intends to withdraw M dollars from the account. Let AN be the amount in dollars in Gia's account at the end of N months. Part A. Show that A2 equals 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of 2 minus M times 1.004 minus M. Using recurrence relations, let's come up with an expression for A1, which represents the amount in the account at the end of the first month. So starting off with $10,000, increasing that by 0.4%, and we do that by multiplying 10,000 by 1.004, and then at the end of the month, take away a withdrawal of M dollars. So A1 is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 minus M. Let's work out the recurrence relation that represents A2, which is the amount in the account at the end of the second month. So starting off with the amount in the account at the end of the first month, increasing that by 0.4% and then taking away another M dollar withdrawal. But A1 is this expression here. So I'm going to substitute this here for A1. So A2 is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 minus M in brackets times that by 1.004, which is this 1.004 here, and then take away M, which is this particular M here. So expanding the brackets, we get 10,000 times 1.004 times 1.004, and that gives us 10,000 times 1.004 squared minus M times 1.004, which is here, and then take away M. So A2 is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 squared minus M times 1.004 minus M. Part B. Show that AN equals 10,000 minus 250M in brackets times 1.004 to the power of N plus 250M. Continuing on the pattern from part A, let's come up with an expression for A3 to make the pattern a little clearer. So following on from part A here, if this is A2, then A3 will equal 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of 3 minus M times 1.004 squared minus M times 1.004 minus M. So I'm going to factorize out minus M or negative M from this term, this term, and this term. So A3 is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of 3 minus M outside of 1 plus 1.004 plus 1.004 to the power of 2 in brackets. Now already, just from A3, we can see a pattern forming here. We can see what's in brackets is a geometric progression, or in fact a geometric series, where the first term is 1 and the common ratio is 1.004. So from this point, we can generalize the pattern from A1, A2, and A3. So in other words, we're going to come up with an expression for AN, which is the amount in the account at the end of the nth month. So AN is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of N minus M outside of 1 plus 1.004 plus 1.004 squared plus dot 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 plus 1.004 to the power of n minus 1. And we get this n minus 1 by observing the pattern from A3. So if that's 3 here, that corresponds to this 3 here. This value here, or this index here, should be 1 less than this value here, which is why 
this is n minus 1. So from this point, we just need to clean the expression up. So we have a n is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of n minus m outside of this expression here, which we now know is a geometric progression or a geometric series. And because we know the first term and the common ratio, we can replace this series here using the formula for the sum of a geometric progression. So rather than writing this series here, we can just write a simple fraction. So a n is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of n minus m outside of 1 minus 1.004 to the power of n over 1 minus 1.004. So that comes from the formula 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r, where r is the common ratio. And this is n here, not n minus 1, because there are in fact n terms in this series, even though this index here is n minus 1. Now we can evaluate the denominator. So 1 minus 1.004 is negative 0.004. So a n is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of n minus m outside of 1 minus 1.004 to the power of n over negative 0.004. Now we have a negative times a negative and we're dividing by this small decimal. So dividing by 0.004 is equivalent to multiplying by 250. So a n is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of n plus 250 times m times 1 minus 1.004 to the power of n. So expanding the brackets here, we get a n is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of n plus 250 times m minus 250 times m times 1.004 to the power of n. So we can factorize 1.004 to the power of n from this term here and this term here. So this plus 250m will appear here. And after the factorization, we get a n is equal to 10,000 minus 250m in brackets times 1.004 to the power of n plus 250 times m. Part C. Gia wants to be able to make at least 100 withdrawals. What is the largest value of m that will enable Gia to do this? We want to find a value m such that a100, which is the amount in the account after the 100th withdrawal, is $0. And if m is larger than that, then Gia cannot make 100 withdrawals, it'll be less than that. So one way we can do this is to use the expression from part B, that is 10,000 minus 250m times 1.004 to the power of 100 plus 250m is equal to zero, and we want to solve for m. So what we can do is expand this bracket here. So we have 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of 100 minus 250 times m times 1.004 to the power of 100 plus 250m is equal to zero. Now we want to make m the subject of this equation. One way we can do that is to factorize 250m or negative 250m from this term and this term. This is a constant which eventually will end up on the other side of the equation. So we have 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of 100 minus 250m outside of 1.004 to the power of 100 minus 1 in brackets is equal to 0. So moving this term over to the other side, then when you do that, this will become a negative 
but this is negative here, so we can multiply both sides by negative one at the same time. So we end up with positive 250 times m times 1.004 to the power of 100 minus one is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of 100. Now we can make m the subject, and we do that by dividing the right-hand side by 250 times 1.004 to the power of 100 minus one in brackets. So writing that out, we get m is equal to 10,000 times 1.004 to the power of 100, so that's this term here, divided by 250, divided by 1.004 to the power of 100 minus one in brackets. And evaluating this expression here, we get 121.527 and so on. Now it's important to note that m must be less than or equal to 121.527 and so on. So we need to round down to the nearest cent, not round up, even though it looks like rounding up is required, in other words, 121.53, if that was the case, then technically GIA cannot make at least 100 withdrawals. So rounding down to the nearest cent, GIA can withdraw a maximum of $121.52 per month.